congressional Democrats are ditching House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer's apparent opposition to any barrier or wall along the U.S. border with Mexico. As the partial government shutdown continues and President Donald Trump takes his case directly to the border itself, we have a partial wall. If we have fencing, if we have technology used to keep our border safe, all of it is fine. Representative Siri Bosto said, the chairman of the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, said on CSN. Senator Jeff Merkley also backed a barrier along the U.S. border with Mexico. Some fencing is useful. Some barriers are useful, the senator said. There's a lot of surveillance technology. I've been to some cities on the border that have triple fencing and have more personnel and have the technology to see the people moving in the middle of the night. Representative Eric Schwalwell and Jerry Nidler, the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, said they would support fencing and barriers where along the necessary border. Senate Minority Whip Dick Durbin says he believes there will be a new barrier along the border in the future, along with Representative John Garamendi, Representative Catherine Clark are just a few other Democrats who are opposed to Nancy Pelosi's and Chuck Schumer's regards to the wall. These very prominent Congress Democrats' message on the effectiveness of a wall or barrier or offense is very different from the coordinated message from Schumer and Pelosi. Just two nights ago, when the, Dem when the two Democrats in Congress said in their response to President Trump's over office address that the wall would be inefficient. And this just goes to show you what I was talking about yesterday, that these Democrats are going to end up backstabbing each other one by one. Here you have a total number of seven Democrats in office going against what Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer said regarding Trump's border wall our border wall statement. And this is just going to continue because these Democrats in office are going to face huge resistance from their base, the people on welfare systems and, st and so forth. And also the celebrity Democrats and your average liberal supporter progressive person. You have people like celebrity liberals just telling the Democrats, forget it, give him his border wall money and just reopen the government. So as the days go on, it's looking more and more worse for the Democrats. Again, here you have seven of seven Democrats, representatives and senators in office right now who are openly calling out Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, pulling out their knives and stabbing them in the back. And like I said yesterday, this is going to continue and get worse. You're going to see more celebrity liberals coming out and urging the Democrats in office to just give Trump his border wall money. Because in the grand scheme of things, in the grand scheme of what the government actually spends on things, what he's asking for is pennies. It's such a small amount compared of what we spend on just foreign aid alone. We as a country spend 900 million or 900 billion dollars a year on food stamps, just on food stamps alone. That's not counting public housing and WIC and other welfare programs. We spend billions of dollars on foreign aid. 430 million of it goes to Mexico. We spend, I'm pretty sure, other hundreds of billions of dollars a year on useless government agencies that you don't even know the name of. But when the president asks for money to go and fund the border wall, to fix the border wall, he's hit with such resistance. And it doesn't make any sense because the border wall is essentially our national security. We have people coming across the border bringing drugs and violence along with them, which is making our streets in America less and less safe. On top of that, the gun control that the Democrats are trying to push through are making the citizens more and more victims of these immigrants who come into this nation to do harm, to bring drugs, to bring their gangs with them. So in total, the border wall will cost about 21 billion so billion dollars, 21 billion dollars or so, which again is peanuts to compare to what we actually spend on other things. The United States government has a tax revenue every year of about $4 trillion, right? Which means that 
and we can't even pony up 21 billion of it to secure our border. How ridiculous does that sound? So like I said yesterday, the Democrats are going to start cracking. The Democrats are going to start feasting on each other, backstabbing each other. You just watch. Watch in another week or so. See how many Democrats in office, celebrity Democrats, and your average progressive supporter out there. Watch what they do. Watch how they become. They're going to put more and more pressure on the Democrats in office to just give Trump his funding. And the longer the Democrats hold out on it, the worse it's going to get for them. This is not harming Trump one bit. He is looking not like the bad guy anymore because like I read an article this morning, and it was basically Republicans and other um, conservatives in office are offering the Democrats uh, certain amnesties for illegal immigrants and some other bones that the Democrats want. So obviously the Republicans and Trump are willing to negotiate this. They're willing to uh, compromise on something. And it's the Democrats who are looking more and more like the ones who are just not wanting to play ball. They're the ones who look like they're just stopping progress. And again, it's not looking good for them. And I say good, you know, let, you know, let the Democrats look as bad as they can get. You know, each passing day that goes on that the, that the government is shut down, the more and more leverage Donald Trump has against the Democrats. And I still think he's going to wait this out until the Democrats, uh, you know, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer come begging on their hands and knees to reopen the government and they'll give him all the funding he wants. Right now, it's a game of patience and a game of time. How long can the Democrats hold out until they snap under their own weight? And we already see it happening now. Seven Democrats in office are backstabbing Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. Given another week or so, it's going to be double that. You just watch. But you guys let me know what you thought about this in the comment section below. And that's it for this video. Peace out, guys.